everybody. It's Dr. Stuart Hoover with Mother Earth Labs. I want to welcome you to our Wellness Wednesday. You've probably been wondering where we have been uh, the past month or so. It's just been a really, really busy time here at Mother Earth Labs, but we are back online and uh, ready to start getting back into our Wellness Wednesday. So hopefully this will be the uh, kickstart to our new uh, season, new session that's coming up, and we just got a great show lined up for you today. So I really hope you guys are uh, sitting back, relaxing, and I uh, got a notepad because we're going to share some really good information with you today. So, real quick, I just want to do a little uh, little house checking here. We got good audio. I see that coming through. Uh, we will have our comments uh, section opened up. So, as we're going through this presentation today, if you have a comment, uh, you know, if you'd like to like our page, that would be great. Uh, go ahead and put that in there. And uh, towards the end of our presentation today, if we have time, we'll try to get to some of the comments. So I've got a real special guest uh, with me today, Dr. Von Watts. Uh, we've been working together for uh, probably a couple of years now. He's one of our top health professionals that uh, works with our Mother Earth Labs products. So I'm excited to bring him on in a minute. Uh, as usual, I want to let everybody know that the information that we share on our Wellness Wednesday show is not designed to diagnose, treat, or cure any medical condition. You should always check with your medical doctor if you have any medical questions or before you make any lifestyle changes. So with that, let's get our show started today. And um, as I bring Dr. Watts on, again, I had uh, met him several years ago. Uh, he was really into uh, transitioning his practice over to functional medicine. Um, I love the, uh, the name of his practice. It is Body Synergy Wellness Center in Missouri, uh, where I practiced for many, many years. I uh, love the tagline, they treat the whole body as a whole. And that really, to me, truly uh, just sums up exactly what functional medicine is all about. So I'm going to bring Dr. Watts on. I'm going to let him uh, give a little uh, background on himself. And Dr. Watts, you are up. It's all you right now. All right, how are you doing today, Dr. Hoover? I'm doing great, man. I appreciate you making some time to be on with us today. Well, thanks for, uh, thanks for having me on. A um, little background on myself. Uh, I'm a chiropractor by, by, uh, by trade. Um, and within the first year of practice, decided I uh, really wanted to get into functional medicine. It was, you see a lot of patients that come in that, are, that deal with a lot of different chronic issues that have been dealing with them for years, and in some cases, decades. And... They've been to five, six, seven, ten doctors, specialists. They've been everywhere and they're on lots of medications and unfortunately still dealing with, with problems. So it was very interesting, very exciting. So I started my trek a few years back um, to start educating and start going out and getting a lot of these different seminars and, and um, getting a lot of different educational uh, postgraduate education for functional medicine to incorporate that in my practice. And I've been doing that now for a couple years. It's been a uh, been about two years since now that we've been doing that, and uh, love it. We have an exciting uh, patient base, and it's had some really good results. Partially uh, as of recent, because of some of the products that we've been using with Mother's Lab. So we're real excited to uh, to share today uh, one of the, one of the cases that that we've uh, experienced extremely good results. Well, great, Dr. Watch. Again, I appreciate you making that time to be with us today and sharing that information. And you know, you're you just really sum up the type of practitioner that we're working with here at Mother Earth Labs. You know, that's really getting more into integrative functional uh, health and medicine. You know, we're working with practitioners all around the world now, and uh, and it's great having you here so close. You know, we've become good friends as well. I like to say. And, uh, and I know you're even helping, uh, you know, communicate with other practitioners out there and sharing your experiences uh, with our products. You know, one of the things I wanted to ask you before we get into this uh, case study is, uh, you know, you were like a lot of practitioners I talk to every day. I think you had gotten to the point of just, you know, being a little overwhelmed with all the supplementation out there. And, and I think you, uh, you kind of felt that uh, from the, the patient as well, that you know, the people today have just really gotten kind of overdone, I think, with taking handfuls of products. I mean, most people I, I know that used to come in my clinic, uh, they'd open their, you know, cabinet up and they'd have 50 products in there. <laughs> so, and yeah. in our practice, you know, we'd have shelves of products. And, uh, you know, like myself, I think you really were kind of drawn to the simplicity of what uh, these humic and fulvic powered products uh, were able to bring into the practice, not only by reducing what you uh, were offering, but also, I think, from the patient perspective, just getting away from having to take so many product products. Is that correct? 
Absolutely, that's the, that's one of the hardest parts. Uh, I, I kind of compare functional medicine to, to acupuncture, which I'm also trained in. And there's just so much involved and so much information and so many different routes and opinions and ideas of how to go certain routes. Um, it can be overwhelming. And sometimes you're like, where do I start? And the nice thing about Mother's Labs, not a, not a typical supplement company where the, you have a entire catalog of products, you know, hundreds mm-hmm. and hundreds of products. There's really probably about, I don't know, five to eight products um, that I use. And they're, I, I call them foundational products. So I use them in, in the beginning part of my protocol with all of my patients and as, as a foundational protocol to heal the body, get the body working properly so that any other supplementation that I may use from another supplement company uh, to treat a specific thing um, can be a lot more successful in, in treating that because now you have their, the gut working properly, the, the stomach, liver, kidneys. So those organs are now functioning properly, so now anything we do give it, uh, the, the body can actually utilize it and have a lot quicker results. Yeah, well, I love that term uh, foundational because that really is truly so much of what our products are offering is that true foundation. You know, we all uh, need specific type of micronutrients and uh, we really need these humic and fulvic molecules in there to help energize the cell membrane and transport these nutrients into the cell. And you know, so many people uh, today are, are taking various forms of supplementation. You know, they may have been uh, prescribed by their practitioner, they may have been, you know, referred by a friend or just read about them, saw them on TV. And you know, it's interesting how many times people would come into my practice and say, you know, my friend was using this, or, uh, you know, my doctor referred me to this product, and it, it worked for all these other people, and it's not working for me. And, uh, you know, I used to run into that all the time. And, again, to me, if, if you don't have that foundation in place, if you don't have that cell function uh, as optimal as, as possible, then you, you could be putting really good supplements in the body, but they're going nowhere, are they? Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's what you find out. Um... You know, the cells got to be healthy, the gut's got to be healthy, you know, your, your filters, your body filters got to be healthy. Yeah. If not, I mean, and, and I use a, um, a term in my practice um, with certain patients, because sometimes it's uh, maybe a little uh, off color, but I don't say, I say literally, sometimes you're taking these supplements, you think you're doing a good job with them, but um, in many cases, you are literally and figuratively, you know, peeing your money away. Exactly. <laughs> so, you know, you're literally, it's just filtering right there. You're just, you're just excreting. You're not even utilizing it. And, yeah. and if you're getting a really good supplement from, especially from a, a, a practitioner, chances are it's, an, it's, it's a high grade supplement. Mm-hmm. So it, it's a little more expensive than some of the, the junky ones you get at Walmart or Walgreens. Right. So not only are you not utilizing it, but you're, you're wasting a lot of money. Exactly. Uh, in that process. Well, we should say they do go somewhere. Uh, when I said they go nowhere, they kind of go down the uh, down the drain, that's for sure. Right. <laughs> you know, there's an old term in in our country. We have the most expensive toilet water in the in the world. <laughs> so, Absolutely. you know, a lot of nutrients sure. there. But, yeah, that's so important for people to understand. I know a lot of our uh, listeners out there, they, they hear that time and time again from us, that, you know, our products are really designed to – support cell health, you know, to provide those essential micronutrients, enhance cell absorption, detoxification. And you know what I found? Uh, when you're doing that and really supporting those functions, the need for a lot of other supplements really minimizes. Like you said, you can almost kind of get in and maybe hit some of these more acute things that need a little bit more help instead of just, you know, even managing. I, th- I think we find today, even in our industry today and in functional health and medicine, a lot of times we're just managing uh, conditions with supplements versus drugs. Wouldn't you agree? Well, yeah, and that's exactly what I what I let my patients know is that I, I'm not trying to follow the same Western medicine model just with natural products, meaning you have a symptom, here's a natural supplement as opposed to a drug, and then they are in all these supplements for symptoms. Um, we really like to get down to and that's what the basis of functional medicine is, is uh, getting down to the cause right. and treating the cause, not treating the symptom. And unfortunately, you know, and I think all practitioners go through it at some point, but uh, unfortunately, I think even still a lot of even natural practitioners uh, fall short in that where they, they treat, oh, you have this, uh, you have a hard time sleeping, well, here, take this. Oh, you have a hard time, take this. It's like, well, but what's causing th- that problem? And that's, that's what I love about 
these products here, like I said, they're foundational type products I use um, to kind of get the body back in what we utilize the term homeostasis, where the body is working at an optimal level mm -hmm. so that anything else that you do to it, whether it be diet, lifestyle, exercise, other supplementation, um, you're going to have a much higher uh, success rate. Exactly, exactly. Well, that, that is uh, well said. So, well, you know, with that, let's kind of dive into uh, an interesting case that you and I have been talking about for about uh, four months. You know, I know when you came on board with us and really began to integrate these products into the practice and, again, you know, kind of really moving into more of a functional foundational role with people, you had a kind of an interesting uh, case that came into your practice. I'd say probably kind of the typical in a lot of ways of what we tend to see in functional health and medicine today. Uh, just a lot of things going on with this gentleman, but let's just kind of walk through it. I'm going to flash some slides up so people can kind of follow along with us and kind of watch this timeline of what's going on, but I'll let you kind of start with uh, kind of introducing this case. All right, sounds good. All right, so this case here is very similar to a lot of cases that have come in first off. I mean, this is not something that's outside the norm. I would say a good portion of my patients, functional medicine patients that come in have quite a few of these things on this list. And I, and I even bet a lot of people watching this today can sit there and go, oh yeah, I have that, I have that. Um, so it's actually not too uncommon. But this gentleman um, is 53 year old male um, that had a lot of different issues, as you can see, chronic fatigue, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, acid reflux, leaky gut. I mean, it goes, you can read them all here. I'm not going to read them all, but, uh, and for these, he was also on medication for all these things. Um, so we kind of got a little history of, of what he does. He's, he's a delivery, he drives a truck during the day, like a delivery type truck. So he's in the truck all day long, um, does not exercise. And as anybody knows, when you travel or when you tend to be in a vehicle a lot, you tend to not eat the best. And so his diet definitely was not good. Um, Smokes about a carton a week, um, overweight, and functioning alcohol. I mean, let's put it this way: he probably about six to six to eight beers a night. Okay, and uh, finally got that out of him um, when I recognized a few things, and, and he admitted to that. And uh, so, what we did is first thing we did is after doing an exam, we ran a, a, to get a baseline blood panel on him. And with this here, is, we'll go over some of these right here. And this blood panel. It showed that obviously his hemoglobin A1C and glucose were high, which you know it's kind of indicative of the type 2 diabetes. Um, his red cell distribution with some of his neutrophils, which you know for those that are not um, medically educated in here, I'll, I'll explain this a little bit. Dude, basically the type of white blood cell. Okay, he's got some liver enzymes, uh, as you can see, calcium, iron, potassium, and then his cholesterol and triglycerides were up. His uric acid is high. Um, hemoglobin and hematocrit were high. Um, some of the things that were low is good cholesterol, low, is vitamin D, extremely low. Um, now, mind you, the actual pathological range that they use for vitamin D is 30 to 100, but from a functional medicine standpoint, we want to get them somewhere between 55 and 100 because we're looking to get people not in the range, we want them in the optimal range. Um, and then TSH and total T4 and free T4, these are all thyroid markers. So he has some thyroid stuff going on. Um, and so the, as you can see, uh, aside from his his uh, the things, he, his complaints he had, he had, he had quite a bit going on in his blood work as well. Yeah, you know, it's, I'm going to kind of <clears throat> pop back in here too because I think it's important. I know we, we have a lot of practitioners looking at this today, but I know we're going to have a lot of um, – you know, general public that are looking at this. And, you know, one of the important things that, you know, we're measuring here is not just fasting glucose. Uh, you know, I know for years I'd have people coming in uh, saying their, their glucose was a little bit elevated, uh, that their doctor just kind of kept keeping an eye on it. You know, it just kept going up and up and up and up and up right. until finally, boom, it was 140 and they were diagnosed with diabetes. Or at that point, the doctor ran a hemoglobin A1C. Now, you and I know that, you know, setting the stage for a fasting glucose, you're almost kind of skewing the test a little bit uh, right. anyway because you're fasting. But let's talk a little bit about the importance of that A1C reading because I think anybody out there that is concerned 
uh, about their health. You know, we know that 80% of our population suffers from some level of dysglycemia. That, folks, that just means that you're not regulating blood sugar. Let's talk about the importance of the A1C and, and what we're really looking at with that. Well, the, the big thing about the A1C, I mean, you, you get a lot of, it gives you a lot of uh, information. And as a functional medicine practitioner, when we look at that, um, we're, we're trying to utilize that, that marker to find somebody in the, even in the pre-diabetic stage right. that we can look at and treat um, and keep them from getting to where they finally diagnose with diabetes and they have to go on medication or, or different stuff like that. But right. for us, I mean, I utilize that and even with patients that don't come in with diabetes just because, like you said, <clears throat> people that have dyslipidemia um, or have some of those symptoms edging towards that, they, they could have some of these, these blood panels show up normal. Right. And I utilize that on every patient, um, whether they come in and say they have diabetes or not, just to just kind of pre-screen that and catch them even in, more importantly, in that pre-diabetic stage to, right. to fix it become, before it becomes an issue. Well, in, in the A1C, folks, what it's really doing is it's giving us a three-month average um, of what your blood sugars really have been. Instead of just a snapshot in time with your fasting glucose, that A1C is looking at the previous three months and giving right. us an average. And, you know, a lot of times, Dr. Watts, I would see people that would come in, I'd do a functional blood chemistry panel, and their glucose would be 89. And right. I would do the A1C, and it would be over 7, you know, which is bad. <laughs> Right. So, so that's, that's, that's the problem with the fasting glucose is it can be that you can run that test three days in a row and and have three different readings. Right. Exactly. Now, so yeah. So that, that, the A1C is a more as you stated, you know, you got three months average, but it's, it's a more accurate um, analysis of what's really going on. Exactly. So again, folks, you know, the thing is, when you hear the the word functional blood chemistry, we're really looking at more chemistry. Uh, instead of kind of waiting until you get into that pathological zone and then digging. Because, you know, we don't just leap from being healthy to disease, do we? We go from being healthy to dysfunctional, basically, states of dysfunction to disease, you know. But unfortunately today, uh, medically, we're kind of looked at either being normal or diseased. That's it. You're, you're either normal or diseased. <laughs> right. And, and the thing with that, too, is... Um, with, with running those blood panels is oftentimes if patients come in with their blood panels already in hand, it's a very incomplete blood panel. Right. Meaning they run a thyroid panel and all they ran was TSH and T4. And it gives you some information, but it doesn't give you the whole story. So most functional medicine practitioners, when they're running blood panels, we run a very comprehensive blood panel because we want to look at everything. We don't want to just look at a couple markers because they can be very deceiving. Um, and, and it can also be the reason why your previous doctor missed something that you're dealing with because maybe your TSH levels came out normal or maybe your glucose came out pretty normal, but you run a full thyroid panel and boom, all of a sudden uh, your, your antibodies are high and you have Hashimoto's. And, right. and, and mm -hmm. one thing I teach all my patients is, is this, is by the time you're showing symptoms, it doesn't happen overnight. So by the time you're showing symptoms, the body is already in the disease process somewhere between 40 to like 40% and above. So it's something you've been dealing with for a while. It's just now you're trying to see the symptoms. So it's just like weight loss or weight gain. You don't gain, you know, 100 pounds in a month. You know, it's something that happens over a period of time until you get to where you're at. It's the same thing with your health. Mm -hmm. um, it, and so it's, that's, that's one of the really important things to know is that if you're starting to show symptoms, your body's already broken down, you know, at least 40% um, in that process to, to show symptoms now. Exactly. So it's that early intervention and in, in prevention. And boy, that, you know, that old adage, uh, you know, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure really, uh, really stays uh, true today. Well, let's, uh, let's go on and, and talk a little bit more about this individual's um, you know, lifestyle. He was he was also on a lot of medications, which a lot of these are, are pretty typical. I'm sure a lot of our viewers are going, "Yep, those are uh, in my medicine cabinet right now." Absolutely. So he obviously is on medication for uh, type two diabetes and um, acid reflux and a couple for high high cholesterol or I mean for high blood pressure. Um, he obviously the, the the acid reflux 
part of the issue is the fact that he, he drinks a lot of alcohol. So right. th that really messes stuff up. But all these other things, and mind you, all those blood panels that we that we showed in the previous slide that were high, those were all while he was medicated. So even being medicated, they were still showing high. Right. And, you know, he obviously, you know, as, as I said before, he does very little of any exercise, smokes, drinks. His blood pressure is 142 over 88, medicated, um, pulse 85, and is 993 pounds. And he's about, I left this part out, I forgot to put it in, but he's probably about 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, so definitely probably 20 to 25 pounds overweight. And you can see his fat percentage at 27.8. Mm -hmm. So it kind of gives you, this gives you a pretty good baseline of, and that's one thing I like to get, I like to get a baseline of where they're at. And I, and I check a lot of different um, things. I don't put all the markers on this, but I, I check a lot of different things to get a baseline to see what all we are affecting just in that first four month foundational um, protocol that I do. Wonderful. Well, let's uh, let's go take a look, jump ahead uh, four months now and, and see what's going on. Okay. Now, before I even get into explaining what happened here, um, one of the reasons why I'm really excited about this one here is because Mother Labs just released uh, back in was it December a new product uh, for gut health uh, with leaky gut and uh, does a lot of other things. Immune system. Uh, it's a great product for health. Um, to me, it's the only singular product I've ever found that is a one product that can that can treat the gut. Uh, normally, you're having to use five, six, seven different products to to achieve that same process. And so this was the very first patient that I utilized using, uh, or that I used uh, GI Max with um, and ran them on this foundational protocol. I kind of switched my protocol up a little bit um, instead of treating, immediately getting in and treating some of the issues he had. Um, I told him, you know what, you're, you're going to be kind of my, my guinea pig here. Um, and we're going to take four months and we're just going to work on just trying to heal the body itself not worrying about type 2 diabetes, not worrying about this stuff. You're not going to quit taking your meds. Um, if you feel, and the instruction I gave him, if you feel like getting off medication is something you want to do, that's not something I do. I don't take people off medication. So you need to, um, you can do that on your own or you can work with your primary care provider to do that. Um, but if you decide to do it on your own, you need to, and I would advise anybody who thinks that they want to get off medication, if you're not doing it with your, your primary care provider, you need to monitor it closely. So for him, what he decided to do is he went out and got a blood pressure cuff um, and he would check his blood pressure throughout the day um, multiple times, four or five, six times, as well as uh, uh, checking his insulin levels, uh, his, his sugar, blood sugar levels, um, to just to make sure that if he wasn't, he didn't take it that morning and things started spiking, I gave him ex explicit instructions. If you do that, you need to make sure that you, you you get back on those pills. Don't just, you can't just come off cold turkey like that. You need to yeah. very closely monitor it. Um, and so, and that's what he did. He did on his own. He, he closely monitored it. And um, if you bring up that slide now, we can kind of explain what happened to him. Um, so what I utilized was the GI Max. I used a, a, a amazing product called pH Balancer, which has over 309 vitamins, minerals, uh, micro macronutrients. I mean, the list goes on and on. Uh, Realistically, I tell my patients this, if I had to, if the state came in and said, you can only sell one product in your office, everything else is out, that would probably be the one I would sell just because there's so much good in it. And then we use a product called the, the Fulvic 400, the Fulvic Acid. And there's a couple other things I used one to, to help with this acid reflux because obviously this, we need to get that stomach in, in, in check um, for any of this stuff to work as well. So at the end of the four months, um, and I'm not exactly sure. I think it was about two months into it, he started weaning himself off of some of these medications. So by the time we reran the blood panels at the end of the four months and we redid an exam, he was completely off all of his medication. Wow. So now we got a we started with a baseline with blood work and and all these other markers um, on medication. Now at the end, we're we're redoing the exact same labs and same everything, but he's not on medication. He's been through this four-month protocol. So he lost 23 pounds, uh, decreased his body fat by five and a half percent. He's off all his medications. His, uh, his hemoglobin A1C and glucose levels, completely in normal range. Um, blood pressure, completely in normal range. Uh, acid reflux is, is a lot better. Um, energy levels were a lot better in his brain fog, which was one of his big um, complaints. 
and it's getting better now. We see, he's still got some things we're working on brain fog, and, and we have some liver stuff that we're going to actually work on treating now. Um, but his vitamin D levels went from 26.7 to 81.8, wow. which is awesome. And then you look at these here are all the things, all the things that were previously not good on his previous panel that got better. Vitamin D, his he was thyroid markers, obviously the markers for uh, uh, type 2 diabetes, um, his LDL cholesterol, but basically his cholesterol um, all was normalized. Um, and so now what happened was, is as I <clears throat> after I ran this panel, I ran all, ran, did an exam on him, we sat down and started talking and going over the protocol. And so in the protocol, I do a non-inflammatory cellular diet. Um, the products that I explained that we use, um, I advise him to stop smoking and stop drinking. And if he couldn't stop drinking, maybe to switch from drinking seven beers a night to a glass of wine if he couldn't completely give it up cold turkey. And then to at least get out and exercise. If I exercise, you know, I'm trying to be a realist when, when working with patients. And I said, at least get out and walk 30 to 45 minutes a day. You don't have to run. You don't have to go lift weights. So at least get out and get some, you know, 30, 45 minutes of walking. Well, it turns out he was very good with the diet. He was very good with following supplement regime. He didn't exercise. I don't know if he exercised at all, to be perfectly honest, in that four months. And um, he did not quit smoking. And it turned out that the glass of wine, he um, he took it to a different level. And unfortunately, he was, starting, was drinking six glasses of wine, which was very counterproductive because there's actually more alcohol in wine than, than beer. And so it was actually quite amazing that all those things resolved, even though he hadn't done any exercise, um, and if you go back to that slide again, that last one, um, so no, he did no exercise, no, or very little exercise, did not quit smoking, and actually the drinking got worse. He still lost 23 pounds and decreased body fat and still had um, the resolution of, you know, his high blood pressure and type 2 diabetes. And so to get that, we're, we're pretty impressed. So now, at this point now, um, we're working on some B12 anemia, um, which is alcohol-related and and a few little uh, things dealing with his liver, um, and he's committed to stop smoking and drinking, which we're really excited about. So we'll see here. We're actually about halfway through the second four months in, in the treatment of what was left over. But the nice thing about it from a functional medicine practitioner standpoint is we really didn't treat anything specifically. I wasn't treating his thyroid. I wasn't necessarily treating some of these things specifically. The, the one thing is a caveat, I was treating vitamin D, he was taking, he was doing a vitamin D uh, uh, protocol with that. But just from doing a foundational protocol and changing his diet and lifestyle, well, some of his lifestyle, <laughs> a lot of this stuff just resolved on its own. Well, and so I, one of those things that I would tell people that are watching that maybe deal with this stuff, just changing diet, lifestyle, and getting on a few good products could, could completely turn your health around. Right. Um, on its own. As you can see, this gentleman, I mean, he lost weight. He lost weight without without doing any exercise, or um, which is, I was pretty remarkable. I mean, uh, his wife was in here with us, and she was pretty amazed that uh, that happened because she was the one that called him out on not exercising. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds like my wife. <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah, right. Yeah. That's why. Had, well, had you know, this is this is so um, typical. Of, of what I hear day in and day out and actually what I witnessed for over 10 years in, in really taking this foundational approach and, and putting it uh, to play with all of my my patients that came through the door. You know, you were talking about our uh, GI Ultramax uh, product that, you know, we spent over almost two years formulating this. And, you know, what we do know is over 80% of chronic disease today begins in the gut. You know, our gut plays a huge role in, in our overall health, whether it's blood sugar regulation, it's immune function, it's detox, it's you know nutrient absorption, uh, inflammation, all these things that are just chronic today. Um, if we don't take care of the gut, folks, you're, you're really just trying to manage things, and that's the thing we're finding with this GI Ultramax product. That you know, really bringing that in as a foundational product, addressing the gut. You know, Dr. Watch, you didn't go after diabetes or any of these obvious conditions because those were a byproduct, correct, of, of correct. this dysfunction. 
Correct. And, and, what, and what I talk, tell a lot of my patients is um, the gut is the second brain. Right. And, um, and it's, it's, uh, it does everything. Hormone regulation, all your neurotransmitters um, are creating your gut, your immune system. Basically, everything you put in your body, in order to utilize that, it gets absorbed in the gut. And if it's not functioning properly, you, I mean, that's why I use the foundational protocol. I follow the, I tell my patients, you are what you eat. Right. Okay, literally. So I follow that track. We got to make sure the stomach is the first thing to break things down. The gut to absorb things and to, you know, regulates a lot of things in the body. The liver and kidneys, you know, help to filter stuff. And so that's really what I go after to attack in that foundational protocol. Right. Um, to do that, so well, and it's, uh, and it's it was and, great success with that, and it's working. And you know, we are, you know, just so folks know, we're we're actually uh, getting ready to start a study. It's going to be a three month study where we're looking at the uh, the gut biome, the microbiome in the gut, and really, you know, looking at the influence this has on helping to improve that environment. You know, this is something that we're going to be hearing a lot more about is our biome. You know, we're we're actually, from what I've read. We have 10 microbes to every cell in our body. We're more yeah. microbes than we are cells. You know, and for years we, we've talked about, you know, we're cells, but these microbes, like you mentioned, they play a huge role in every function in the body, even our brain function, cognitive function. So, uh, you know, this is going to be an exciting study to see uh, exactly how we can help enhance and support that, that microbiome. So... Well, Dr. Watts, uh, you know, we're coming up, we're past our 30-minute mark. Uh, this has just been great information. We're, we're getting some good feedback uh, from people already. Uh, I know this has been uh, welcoming information to a lot of people's ears today. Uh, it's always great having practitioners like yourself on that are out there, I like to say, in the trenches, uh, still just doing this every day. I call it just kind of grinding it out every day. Absolutely. But uh, but seeing this this foundational approach uh, really come into play, and this you know what we share today, folks, is is kind of unfortunately so typical for so many people out there today. This this is not like a rarity, is it? Not at all. Not at all. Yeah. So well, any yeah, part? I any? I appreciate the time, Doctor Hoover, as well. Um, unfortunately, I got to run too because I got patients coming in. But thanks for the opportunity and. Um, if there are questions in there or people have questions for either one of us, uh, um, we're more than happy to, to answer those on the feed. So look on the feed afterwards. We'll get up on there and answer those questions for you. Well, um, but thanks again. I appreciate the opportunity. We appreciate it. Dr. Watts, have a great day. Thanks for all that great all right. information. Take care. Thank you. Uh -huh. Bye. Well, folks, I'm going to switch, uh, switch gears here for a minute. I am going to talk about a very easy approach that a lot of you out there listening can take today. It's a program that I actually have used for years in my clinic. Uh, we're making this available at MotherEarthLabs.com. So let me uh, switch over to this screen here. If you have not been to our website, uh, this is pretty easy to, to do. You'll simply go to MotherEarthLabs.com. Uh, scroll down to the bottom of the page and under customer support you're going to see eight week health restoration plan and if you click on that uh, link there it'll take you to a page that has a lot of support information hi this uh, is emma this is I let am me the go mother ahead and earth cut our little virtual assistant off there uh, but this page will kind of walk you through uh, downloading the eight week uh, health Restoration Plan Guidebook. This is a guidebook that will help you with uh, food selections. Uh, also has a supplement protocol on some of the things Dr. Watts and I talked about today uh, that you can use to kind of build that foundational program back. Uh, we have some information videos that cover some of the products so you understand why you're using these products. A quick seven minute workout video. I've used this with thousands of people in my clinic. It's very effective. You know, if you're doing nothing, Kind of like Dr. Watts said, just get out and start walking. Get out and walk for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Work your way up to 30 to 45 minutes a day. Uh, here's a very simple seven-minute exercise program you can do at home. Again, we include our supplement protocol. It gives you a blow-by-blow -blow exactly how to use these products, when to take them during the day. And uh, this is something that we've, we've added in. I don't know a lot, if a lot of people have seen this, but our recipes area. We have added hundreds and hundreds of recipes in here, and these are all free, folks, for you to use. Uh, beverages, breakfasts, desserts, gluten-free 
uh, items, uh, lunch, dinner, salad, sauces, dressing, snacks, soups, uh, vegetable dishes. All of these are available for free uh, for you to use. You don't have to give us any information. You can simply go in there, plug in, uh, and download this information, get access to this information. This is our gift to you. You know, the worst thing uh, is when we don't take action. You know, I think about uh, doing these shows and, uh, you know, having a guest on like Dr. Watch, you know, that is telling us, uh, I like to say, from the, the horse's, horse's mouth, you know, the guy that's out there in the trenches today that is really uh, helping to lead the charge on functional health and functional medicine and, and the results they're seeing. You know, I work with practitioners all around the world today. I'm very blessed to uh, work with Mother Earth Labs and and uh, really drive their professional division. We have so many more health professionals today that are looking at functional health and functional medicine. They're coming to us looking for that simple, simple approach, that functional foundational approach, and that's really what we strive to achieve here at Mother Earth Labs. So again, I invite you to join us at MotherEarthLabs.com. Uh, take a look at our products, learn more about them, uh, and also make sure to share this uh, information with your friends and family. Uh, make sure to like our Facebook page here so you can stay uh, updated on what we're doing here at Mother Earth Labs. And with that, I am going to close out our session today. I greatly appreciate you being with us.